it's all happening. mute me. How are we this afternoon? Hope you are all enjoying your day. It is a beautiful day here in Adelaide. Absolutely lovely. And Louise and I went and sat out on the front step and had had a little lunch. Uh, which was very nice and now we are back to have a bit of a play this afternoon. Um, I am here of course, um, thank you Annalise, I did get that babe. Um, of course I am here as part of the Great International Craft Show number 12 and we have got some fantastic specials on offer on nataliemay.com.au. One of them is 15% uh, off stamps and stencils and dies for today only. So that means that you can jump online, grab yourself a bargain. And we also have some fantastic deals going as well. Single tubes of art by Marlene Paints are available. We've got some great storage solutions from Totally Tiffany. We have got lots and lots of really, really cool things happening. But what I wanted to do today is have a little bit of a chat to you about foiling and gilding flakes. And do you know what I've done? I've sat down without any in front of me. The packet's off the shelf. Would you grab those for me, love? Thank you. Um, so I <laughs> did that really well. And hello, ladies. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, I thought that I would have a little play and chat to you about the gilding flakes because they are really, really great to work with, um, which is what these things here are. And while you're standing right there, could you grab the, re uh, the reindeer? Grab one of the family, the one with the um, balls on his head. Oh. You know the one. The male reindeer. The male reindeer. Um, last year, about this time last year, I did a little live Facebook with this guy. Now, I'm not going to make any any more reindeer. You guys have seen me make reindeer continually this year. And I think we've all seen enough reindeer for one season. But what I did with this one last year is I popped these little gold elements on here. So these bits here are not gold paint or metallic paints. They are gilding flakes. So I want to show you very quickly how to add these metal flakes to something like this. Let me make a clean spot. Here's one I prepared earlier. I love saying that. Um, so what these guys are, are shiny metallic foil flakes which will add an amazing gilded look to all of your surfaces. Um, they're, they're fabulous, so good. So this color is called Vintage. This color is called Steampunk. So this is copper and gold. This is go copper, gold, and silver. And then this set is called Sparkling, which is just gold and silver. So um, a little bit goes a really long way. And let me tell you, they really go quite a long way. So you, can, you just need a bit of an adhesive to stick them on with. What I have here in front of me is you can use any sort of adhesive, honestly. I use um, the two-in-one glue, pen, and brush. And I my brush broke today, my sponge on this one, because they're very old. But I tip it into my palette, and then you put the lid straight back on, uh, because they do tend to fall over really easy. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little makeup wedge here. Hmm. And I've got some glue on here. Now this glue is super tacky. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on here on his bottom, a bit on his neck. Hey? Oh, Louise. Louise just said, you said it's super tacky. If that's the case, what's it wearing? I went, yeah, no. Nah. She says, did you have a glass of wine when you went out and got some lunch? All right, so I've just dabbed that on there. I have got here an, an overflow box. Now, when you are using flakes like this, I highly recommend an overflow box so that you can take something out of here and <laughs> they're so staticky and add it back in if you need to now I have got probably 10 years worth of flakes in this box uh, a couple of tips don't have a fan going <laughs> Don't have a fan going while you are doing this because it will go everywhere. I'm gonna pop him over here and I'm just gonna get in here with my fingers and I'm gonna press that onto here. It may have, I may have been talking too much and it might have dried too quickly, but let's just make it happen. And Dun, 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 dun. I don't think I stuck any in the middle. Did I do some glue on his nose? I think I did. Oh yeah, there's some. So yes, have yourself a little Tupperware container or a takeaway food container handy and get that on there. Right, so the next thing Oh, and then I just breathed into the box and just popped that aside. Now, I've got one of these fancy schmancy Nouveau brushes. I like to use this just to brush off any excess. You could use a fine paintbrush, but I like this fancy one because I'm fancy like that. Louise, stop laughing. Um... And the other thing that I have handy, had handy, is a, a sponge. Actually, let's go with a paintbrush first. I'll go with a, a paintbrush that's got a um, stronger bristle. And that's working. There we go, that's actually working really well. So I've taken the excess off with my big fancy brush, my desk sweeper. I may have gone a little heavy handed up in this area with the flakes, just maybe. So I actually quite like it when I have got like this box here that's got lots and lots of different colors in it. So. Uh, I get a real mixture. All right. And you can see that it's now stuck only to the flakes, uh, to the glue. All right. Yeah, um, okay, I don't recommend doing this gilding situation with, the, with kids, all right? You're gonna end up with flakes from ear to ear, um, the, this just kind of polishes it off. The, I think kids might, you might regret doing it with kids, but it's like, look at that added to chipboard. Super pretty. Let's flip it, let's do the other side. So I've got my glue here and I'm just gonna a little generous but you know what 
let's commit to it. So I bring my box back. Just run it over the top. Down on his bottom. Bottom bum. The rear end of the reindeer. Don't get glue on your fingers. And then I'm gonna brush that off. Take off any excess bits with my paintbrush. So pretty. See you later, Tina. Hey, Kayleen. Right. And finally, just, I mean, you could use a, a kitchen, a dry kitchen sponge or a clean kitchen sponge even uh, to, to do this bit. But just by polishing off, it smooths them out so there's no loose bits, pushes any excess back into your tray. Admittedly, this is a lot easier to do uh, shortly after you've painted it before you assemble it. And I am doing it the hard way, but can you see that? All right, so he's done. I'm pretty happy with that. Nailed it. So then I've got all this overflow, which I tip back into the big box and put the lid back on because if I sneeze, it's going everywhere. Rightio. So there's one thing that you can do with gilding flakes. The other thing that you can do with gilding flakes is like I've done on the inside of my art journal here, I have used a stencil. Everywhere. I have used a stencil and some texture paste which was white, as you can see. And then I did some splatters of that glue that I just used, and I've created an easy background for the inside of my journal. I put the flakes on, let it dry, brushed it off. So there's lots of very cool things that you can do with them. So I've kind of got this instant sort of gilded splatter going on there, which is great. But I thought I'd do an art journal page now. So have a bit of fun and add some, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do, but let's give it a whirl. I have my uh, classics art journal, which is the Dilusions journal that has the craft pages, as well as black pages, as well as the ivory pages. And I thought I would do a page. So here we go. Uh, and I just said to Louise a couple of minutes ago, wish I had a plan. Yeah, you know, don't have a plan. So we're just going to wing it. And that's okay. So I'm going to use the only paints that I have out and handy, which is the Art by Marlene ones. And I'm going to put down sand first, which is this kind of boring but interesting beige. And I'm going to put it down using my palette knife. So I do want to do something really quite loose um, and something quite relaxed. I don't want any sort of perfection going with this page by any means, okay? Um, so while I'm swiping this paint around, a couple of other things that you can do with metallic flakes. They're going to stick to anything. So if I'm to do a strip of double-sided tape, down my card or down my page or down my card front, it's going to look fantastic because the flakes will stick to that in a straight line. Uh, if I was putting adhesive through a stencil, 
So a like sponging through a stencil on my page, that's gonna work, that's gonna look great. I'm just unclogging these paints. Like I mentioned yesterday, when I did the live Facebook yesterday, of course, uh, anything with a fine tip like these are going to probably block up, which is why I have got a safety pin handy. A large safety pin is surprisingly good for unclogging. And just using the back of my catalyst tool here for color, color swipe. Rightio, there we go. Now this isn't gonna to take too long to dry because I'm not using a ton of paint. Couple of things I'm doing, connecting it to the top, the side and the bottom. So I'm connecting it in at least three places on my page. Um, and I'm just quickly gonna dry that off. Where's my heat gun? Because of the colour that I'm going to put on next, I don't want it to muddy up a bit and I just want to take some of the dampness out of this, this little page here. Uh, Louise has gone and got me a whole heap of stamps off the shelf here because I've got no idea what we've got in stock at the moment. Um, so I'm going to possibly do a little bit of background stamping in a sec. Uh, Alright, so let's pop on. I've got Heaven now. So I like this blue that's going to pop over the top and give it a really nice lift. So these paints do come in sets as well. So you can purchase them in a full set or you can purchase them, purchase them as individuals. Um, there's plenty of options available with these lovely paints. So I'm just going to pop a little down here. I may pop some collage paper on. I've got the Dina Wakeley collage paper here and a bit heavy handed up the top there. And I may add a little bit on there. I'm going to heat set that. Don't quite know what I was doing that for, but we'll make it work. Sorry, I thought I might use some of this Dina Wakeley collage paper. This is one of her new ones, which is called Church Doodles. And they are exactly that. They are her church doodles, which I thought was very cool. So there's a few different designs here. Let's see if I can find something to put in the background. Maybe that one. They're a little bit Louise Nelson-ish, actually, those ones. Uh, oh, I like that. Let's pop that one aside. Eyes. Okay, faces. Leaves. Oh, love those. All right. Let's have a little look here. I'm gonna use this here. So I'm just gonna tear that. Oh, and they've done it again. The papers don't tear the right way. Okay, bit of a trick. Get yourself a wet paintbrush and soften the paper when it won't tear down in a straight line. So what that means is the paper will now tear because it's soft on this. Come on, there we go. It's soft on this line. I've softened the fibers of the paper so that I can get it to tear. What happens with paper, it's gonna tear beautifully one way, but not so much the other. See, that tears beautifully that way, not so much the other way. 
So again, I'll show you how that works. Just gonna soften those fibers with a wet paintbrush. And just loosen that because I don't really want a straight edge. I want more of an organic sort of line to it, all right? So straight, straight lines bug me. Nothing else about this page is straight, so why would I want that on there? Okay, so that's kind of good to go in a moment. Let's have a look at some of these stamps that we have as an option. Let's pop my collage paper aside in a pile. Um, I've got faces going on, right? So I want to add a little bit of interest to the background uh, and I want something in lines, I'm thinking. Where did that black paint come from? Oh, God, I'm a bit of a train wreck today. Sorry, just before I put black paint all over my project. Right. Um, I want to create some interest in my background. I have got a few options here. I'm gonna start with the uh, my Won't Let You Down stamp, which is my personal the one that I created, the Natalie May scrapbooking one, and I'm going to put this one in and around here. And this is just words, and that is what I love. It's it's just some simple design, and I'm going to pop some down here. And what's going to happen is I'll be putting a little bit of paint over it anyway, and creating a. Um, if you get paint in your stamp and on your pad, clean it off straight away. Won't hurt it, but as long as you clean it off, my um, of course my paint wasn't totally dry. It won't damage your stamp. So I've done that. Next thing I want to do is I might put some stenciling on. So before we do that, let's take this and I'm just going to tear that down. and use some gel medium to stick that on. I'll tell you what, it is getting warm in here and I am resisting all of the urges to turn the fan on <laughs> because I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna end up with gilding flakes everywhere. So I'm just sticking some of those faces down using gel medium and uh, I'm working in small areas. So using my finger for the gel medium is working fine. I'm going to pop some here, save that piece for down there, and pop some up there. Right, pop that on over the top. And I'm putting the gel medium over the top so that it kind of blends into the page a bit. Just a little bit of interest. And I'll do the same thing down here. Right. Done. A little there, a little there. What else can we do? Uh, I'm going to dry that off very quickly and then we will add... I want to have a focal point here, so a focal point in a moment will be perhaps a stamped image that I will cut out and stick on. Um, that will work really, really well. And then out of my focal point is where I'm going to add my, my gilding flakes. So before I do that, I just need to add a little bit more colour down in here. So a little bit of that uh, peony, which is a beautiful colour, and then that original colour that we used, which is called sand. Just 
just to tie those colours in since I did that little squirt in there before. Sorry, I knew that that was going to fall out, uh, come out in a hurry, so I've just done it off camera there. And putting paint over the top just to cover up any of those little bits and pieces that I, you know, help that tissue paper blend into the page a bit more. All right, coming along quite nicely. And I'm just gonna put a scrap of paper on that, here we go, wipe up that pink paint so I don't stick my arm in it. Let's have a look at some of the stamps that Louise has pulled out for me. Um, I do like that little design there. I don't know that it really mixes in with where I'm going with this. Uh, these are a couple of Tracy Scott from Paper Artsy Stamps. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, not feeling it. Um, let's get rid of that baby. I know that I want to use that, I've got a phrase here from here, this one that I want to use. And I've got some stamps here from Paper Artsy. I'm going to pop this one on. a line and it's just giving a little direction to the page now okay because direction is good if I had started this project with a little bit of direction, things might have been different, but that's okay. Bit of stamping there. Right, let's think about my focal point. I'm going to use a face. I'm gonna use one of these Dina Wakeley faces, I think, since I have some here and How about the Ledger Girls? We'll use her. So I'm going to stamp that using my, I'm not using my stamp press, but I'm just going to lean on it so that I've got a surface here that's fine before I cut it out. So this is the Black Soot Distress Ink in the Archival Range. Perfect. Now I'm gonna off stamp that a bit as well. So what that means is I know that that image is gonna go here, but I'm gonna pop her in here like a bit of a shadow as well. because I can. All right. Oh, hello, Leslie. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Righty-o. Now, I haven't forgotten about the gilding flakes. They do still need to go on, but I don't want to put them on yet. I want to get my... Um, focal point image into place so that I can place my gilding flakes in and around it. So gilding flakes are fantastic, like I was saying, because you can put them on any sort of project to give it a lift. All you need is something for them to stick to. So you could use a glue pen. We have got quite a range of glue pens um, and I will show you in a minute how to how to apply them to double-sided tape because it is so good, especially if you've got like Christmas cards and you wanna add, I know that you've all done your Christmas cards because I'm looking forward to receiving them in the post. But 
if you are wanting to add a little lift, you can. Right, so she's gonna go here. But underneath, I'm going to be doing some of the gilding flakes. I'm gonna have a title that comes out of there and it's gonna work. Um, just quickly, I'll show you how to use double-sided tape to create a background. So if I grab one of the tags I made earlier today, So when I did the live Facebook with the six with the 16 different ways with stencils, um, these are some of the ones that we did earlier. But if I wanted to add, say, oh, which one needs a lift? I don't think they any of them do. They all look amazing. Let's use that one. So if I want to add like a strip down there, I would grab my double-sided tape. And I will lift it. I might do, I might be a little bit fancy here. I've also got, I haven't got any six mil tape in front of me, but I do have some six mil wonder tape. And the difference between the two is this one is just stronger than the other one. This is the good stuff. Peel that off. Peel that off so now they're both sticky. Bring my box back. You can use your fingers, you can use tweezers. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna use my fingers. All right, so stuck them all on. Grab my brush. Just getting any bits off like that. Dry paintbrush. And I'm now just going to, I'll stand up and do this at the risk of having metallic flakes from ear to ear, but that's okay. Try and do it through the camera so you can see what's going on. And now I'm polishing it. So this is where my kitchen sponge would come into play. Or, um, I don't know what this one is. I don't know where it came from. Bunnings or something. But this piece here, I need to rub that off because it is one piece that is joined in the middle. There we go. So can you imagine if this was done all in browns and um, like more beautiful vintage colours. Uh, Kayleen's just, oh yeah, Kayleen's just commented saying, I love how easy that is to do and dress up a card. It is. Having a big area here helps um, so that you have somewhere for all the excess to fall into. Um, like I said, this here is a combination of of me having tons of this stuff that I've been using for years and years and years, right? So it's all of the colors that I've ever owned mixed together. And it's just one strip now. And yeah, super easy to dress up a card. 
All right, so there we go. All right, back to the art journal page. So what I've got is I want to add gilding flakes now to my page before I finish, before I stick this on, before I finish my project. So I have got here the two-in-one pen and brush glue. Uh, something else that you could also use is a Nouveau glue pen, which comes in like three different sizes. So, you know, a multi-use product. Um, or the Deco foil adhesive pen, which you can write with and do exactly the same thing. So what I would like to do though, is I would like to follow, so this two-in-one brush pen has got this little spongy tip on it, which is awesome. Bit of a tip with it though, you hold it in your hand. Otherwise, if you spill it, it can go very wrong. So I'm not gonna cover up my faces or my stamping. I'm going to enhance and I'm gonna frame. So I'm working in and around this area here and I'm quickly going to go, just pop that on. Yes, I'm super aware that this is gonna go absolutely everywhere because I have to brush it off. But you know, that's okay. All or nothing, right? there. Just let that sit and dry. I'm wanting it in a heavier area around where this will go. Gonna have a job for you in a second, Lou. I'll get you to find me a. As long as I'm oh, not actually, no. <laughs> as long as you know, that's right. I've changed my mind. I was going to use um, a thicker for my title, but I'm going to stamp a title instead. Right, that is like a ton of glue. isn't it right so what's happening is they have just bundled all up on top of there I'm just going to press them in so that the glue catches it the cool thing about the two-in-one brush glue pen situation is it actually dries pretty quickly so it won't take long to dry Right, I'm gonna take this and get it out of the way. <laughs> this works really well in my head, by the way. I know that doesn't really help you at this stage, but. Ha, uh, Jeanette Conway has commented, Lou, turn the fan on. Jeanette, I've got some fond words for you that I'm not going to say on camera, love. But what I would like is a big piece of that A3 paper. Would you tear a piece of that off for me, love? Thank you. Because vacuuming is going to be fun, isn't it? Vacuuming's going to be awesome. Because oh. what I'm going to do... I'm going to make a clean spot and then I'm going to brush it off. Have you have you finished with the reindeers? I have finished with the reindeers, actually. Turn it the other way. Yay, there we go. Thank you. All right. See? It's going to work. Is it working on camera? 
Yes. So I'm getting rid of all the excess and it is sticking. I'm pushing it down as I go. Because doing things on camera is so much easier. <laughs> Oh, see, don't laugh because all my flakes went everywhere. Go on, touch it. I dare you. No, you're not going to touch it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I'll look after you. I could have used my new stamp. That's right, but I didn't. I could use the sweary stamps. <laughs> I have some sweary stamps just for you, Jeanette. All right, now we're getting somewhere. And now I just need to give it a little bit longer to dry before I polish it with the sponge. You're the best. So you can see it's still a little chunky, but that's okay. So I just need to give it a moment to dry. <laughs> Push all of that in there, take all the tackiness off it, just from that glue of any bits that I've missed. And my finger looks wonderful. Right. Perfect. So now with my sponge, I can just gently run it over the top here and it polishes off any excess. Push it in, polish it off. So it's only gonna stick to the adhesive. So think of this on a card or a scrapbook layout as a little bit of a shine in the background. Hmm. Yeah, vacuum cleaner, we'll get it later. Should be right. Okay, let's bring that up to camera so you can see what's going on here. See what all of that was all about. All right, can you see how that has stuck? Up a little higher. It's stuck to those areas and created another element down there as well. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look here. She's a bit white in, with paper. <laughs> oh, heck. She's, hello, Diane. She's a little pale. Thank you. She's a lot pale. Oh, gee. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give her just a little bit of colour. Um, and I'm thinking that the best way to do that, can we just, um, is to pop a little bit of a wash over the top. So I've got a paintbrush and some watered down acrylic paint. And I'm going to add just a little bit of colour to this so that it doesn't look so um, pale. Yes, correct, a little bit of rouge on her cheeks and I'll bring it up to camera in a moment to show you and I'm being very very loose with my paint because I, I don't, it doesn't bother me that it is, nothing else about this is page is perfect so um, I don't need perfect colouring there 
and I'm using tobacco for a hair colour and just a just a dob and again it's a wash it just needs to be something different to what I've already got there See what I mean? She's loose. She's loose. A little bit more brown in the hair. Right. Let's stick her down. Now I'm even just going to use that same glue brush pen to stick that down. Yes, you are correct. Every face needs a touch of foundation. Well, that's not necessarily true, but you know, today it's true. She just needs a little colour in her cheeks. So how's everybody's Saturday going? Hope you're all enjoying it wherever you are. That'll do it. Put the lid on that straight away. Because, like I mentioned before, you can get a little messy when you accidentally tip it over. The paint was wet and I just noticed it's not going to stick down real well if I don't give it a really red hot go. Alright, so I'm on the right track here. Um, I'm just going to run some washi tape across this bit in a moment. And going to stamp a title and this one says I don't know let's have a look here I haven't stamped it before so we can just test it on a scrap bit of paper well good thing I tested it upside down make art and your soul will listen okay Um, magic glue will work, but it's a lot thicker. Um, the I would find that you want something thinner and a little bit more fluid. Okay, so if you are thinking about what to use, then I would suggest something like the two-in-one brush or the the pens that I showed earlier simply because yes they will they're a lot thinner and you can be a bit more directional with them um, whereas the that is not straight oh well it's on there let's commit to it um, whereas the puzzle glue which as most of you know, it is one of my favourites, is just not great for, for this. All right. So the words that I'm stamping, I'm kind of doing this little off stamping technique that I like to do because it will, you know, it's, it's words that connect with the words that we've done before up here, but they're not, you know, it's not the particular title just yet. Gaylene. Um, yeah, is that what you mean? So the magic blue would not stick down gilding flakes 
as well. It, it, it will be a little bit too heavy for it, okay? So I would stick for gilding flakes, I would stick with using something a lot more fluid, such as the, uh, the, the two-in-one brush pen or the Nouveau glue pens. For sticking down, you know, that face, then yeah, absolutely, I would use the, um, what I've just used, that's fine, but yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't worry too much about, I mean, I, I do have a lot of different adhesives going on here, uh, and that's quite normal for me, I tend to collect them like nothing else, but having a little bit of, uh, a few different varieties can help you out. Naturally, I wanted to go with a light glue for the gilding flakes because the glue is quite light, if that makes sense. So uh, the something heavier, I would use a heavier glue. But yeah, for, for this sort of purpose with gilding flakes, definitely a lighter glue. All right, so I'm just popping a little bit more paint over the top here to tone down my heavy stamping. Uh, we're on the right track. Hey there, Heather. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of washi tape across there. I'm just going to grab some washi tape out of my drawer. And... Not really thinking about it. I've just grabbed a heap of washi tape. I'm sure a majority of you have a sensational collection of washi tape. I have been collecting washi tape for, I don't know, ever. Um, of course, washi tape was the special that we had yesterday. I like this one. Did you just open a new one? Maybe I did open a new one, Louise. Don't judge me. It's a no judgment weekend. Um, Yeah, I know. And I like to tear my tape. I don't even know what brand this one is. Um, no, it actually says Unwell Studios. No. That is my lovely friend Dee Dee who lives in Las Vegas. In where? Las Vegas. Wow. She does. Doesn't matter what sort of tape. I wanted, I didn't want something coloured. I wanted something quite neutral. And I like the idea of tearing my tape. So if I've got a thick one like this, I tend to take it and connect it to something else like so. And I meant to connect that off the edge of the page, didn't quite have enough, so let's make it work. Righty oh, so I'm nearly there. I know this has taken way too long, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the gilding flakes, like I said, are really lovely to put on projects. So like we showed you before, like I showed you earlier, popping it on a card just over double-sided tape is quick and easy. The way that I have added it on here is a little bit more complex and a little bit more, uh, of course, a lot messier, but it is something that is really, really effective and it has given this page a fantastic lift which is, oh, just stick down. Which is the intention, okay? So the, yes. So the tape is just creating something for her head to be sitting on because she was kind of floating there earlier. And um, we don't need a floating head. Um, yeah, so Gildy Flakes are fun. They are easy. The reindeer 
is it's super effective over your Christmas decorations. If you're one of these people who makes your own uh, Christmas decoration baubles or you use the Minte chipboard to make your own baubles, then you can quite easily, gosh, I'm making this difficult. Um, it's, you can quite easily add them to anything like that um, to, to give it a little bit of a lift, all right? Get out of the way, mate. Done. All right. What are you smirking at, Louise? Oh, the reindeer. The reindeer just got shoved to the side then. Move over, mate. No, maybe because it's silly. Oh, I know. Anyone who is a member of the Natalie May scrapbooking community, um, welcome and thank you for your support and for supporting each other but you may or may not notice one of my lovely regulars Kelly who comes to classes here in Adelaide um, had a little incident with her Dutch hound eating reindeer a couple of days ago um, pretty funny stuff made me laugh quite well and she, she thought it was absolutely, she was devastated. Her reindeer were just destroyed in a matter of moments. Um, so, yeah, very, very funny. Go in there and have a bit of a scroll down and have a laugh because it's absolutely hysterical. All right, I've just grabbed some gold stickers and I'm just going to quickly pop a word on here. And the word is going to be not that. It, that was so cute. Poor little guy looks... So guilty. <laughs> yeah, he did look guilty. He was guilty. Like... two reindeers he slaughtered. He slaughtered two reindeers. Oh, so funny. Um, so very funny. But that absolutely made, Louise and I were still laughing about that yesterday and had a little giggle over it this morning as well. Um, so, yeah, just a reminder, please put your reindeer safe where your dogs can't eat them. Your cute little schnitzel von crumbs with a very low tum. Little dush hounds. So funny. Are these at least straight? No, oh, I can't tell. Um, so there you go. All right. So as I'm doing this, um, so just to finalize, I have been playing with gilding flakes and stamps today and stamps, stencils and dies are on special at 15% off along with all the Christmas things. So you can get a huge range of Christmas things. Um, if you are done for Christmas, good on you. I don't want to hear about it. Stock it up for next year. Gift your friends. Share some love, okay? Pay it forward. There we go. Uh, and you can, yeah, I like that. Except for my tea should have been closer. Um, yes, you will be able to take advantage of that, including the no judgment postage um, as well this weekend. And... And I'm going to sneeze. So lots of things on special. Um, I've got one more live Facebook to do. I'll be coming back in an hour and making something else. I don't know what yet, but that's okay. So gilding flakes, easy. Excuse me. Excuse me. I reckon there's another one. Hang on. Um, oh, goodness me. For those of you tuning in for the first time, I'm Natalie and I sneeze live on Facebook. Um, <laughs> so, yes, we've got double-sided tape on here. We have got glue with gilding flakes on our art journal page. You can see that lovely shimmer. I am going to sneeze again. And I also had my art journal down here. 
my art journal down here where we used it on stenciling in the background. So there's so many cool things that you can do with gilding flakes. Um, there you go. Well, ladies, I am done for the moment. I am going to, <laughs> I don't know, here comes that 20 second delay. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Diane. Um, I'll take a photograph of this and pop it up on the Facebook page where you'll be able to have a closer look at all the details um, and, and see some of those bits and pieces on there as well. Uh, it looks like a fairy has exploded in here. There are gilding flakes absolutely everywhere. It is... Probably up your nose. It's probably up my nose, exactly. Um, but yes, I do. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Grab yourself a bargain. Um, thank you for your support. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, chat to you soon. <laughs>